Hey players, this is Freyaz and this is part 2 of how to make a gun in Roblox where I'll be showing you how to make the gun damage and then make a machine gun. I've actually recorded this a few times already but the data keeps getting inexplicably corrupted so this is what the final product will look like. And then when I run out of ammo I can tap R to reload and drop some shells and it'll have more ammo so uh, let's get on with this. Uh, I'll delete this. Uh, which is quite painful to delete but the last and then go back to this version where I'll have to undo a feature that I did doing damage. Well actually I won't undo it because I've done stuff like this plenty of times and you should know this by now. What I have done here um, is I have um, put bullets.touched connect damage which um, is the name of the function up here and um, below all of our bullet codes and um, before it moves the grip boss back and what the damage function does is um, it names whatever it hits part and then it checks if the part's parent has a humanoid and also if um, it also makes sure that um, the part's parent is not us because we don't want to hit, hit ourselves and we don't want to um, try and damage anything that doesn't even have a humanoid so it will only hit NPCs and other players and then the bullet will destroy itself immediately upon hitting a target and de dealing damage. Um, so yeah, with that out of the way, I am going to change this to AK-47. AK-47, and I am going to go to the mesh, equip this, and then change the size to 3. And I'm going to put this in starter pack for a second and reset to fix my animation. <laughs> but damn, that sure is frustrating recording the video and um, a few times and then the last time uh, it looked fine but then it was like, oh the data's corrupted. Um, we're not going to tell you why the data's corrupted, it just is and deal with it. Um, but I love recording so I don't mind doing it again. Uh, so here we go. Uh, what should we do first now? Well, um, I guess we should go into the AK-47 part, so the ammo should be a little bit higher and I'm going to make a damage function, so damage equals, no, damage equals 5, because we want uh, the ammo to be higher, the damage to be lower, and it to be spammable, so uh, minus uh, bullets damage, because we can't name that damage because we named our function damage, so you can't have a variable and a function name being the same. Because ambiguous, uh, ambiguous, it can cause problems. And now this uh, code here will be going into a new function. So I'm going to copy all of this. Uh, enabled equals false. Is firing equals true firing and gun dot d activated connect stop shooting and all stop shooting is going to do is change as firing to false and now function firing and repeat until is firing is equal to true or ammo is equal to zero and that should be false not true and then I am going to put this code here and I'm going to test this to see if it works which it won't um, because this is the first... why is this not in my backpack? This is worrying. Okay, that's fine. And it works first time round. I'm actually going to be disappointed that it works first time round because um, I have more time to explain it when I have errors. Um, <laughs> it's weird complaining that there's no errors in a script, but <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll go over and explain this. Um, basically, we move this code into firing because we only want the um, it's to initiate the firing process when we click the button so 
we call our custom func function firing, and then we repeat um, the process of creating a bullet and firing it and so the damage dealing um, over and over again while subtracting our amount of bullets, printing how many bullets we have left and um, all that fun stuff. And um, then we keep doing that until is firing is equal to false and or ammo is equal to zero. Um, the latter of these two will trigger um, if we keep shooting for a period of time because we're um, running out of ammo obviously. And the former here is firing and um, will turn to false when our uh, left mouse key is lifted because we've set gun.e deactivated to connect the function stop shooting and all it does is um, change is firing to false which will stop our firing function so uh, that's pretty much that. Um, so now what I'm going to do is add a reload key. So mouse dot key down connect reload function reload and if enabled is equal to true then and, and um, I should put key here and then key equals key lower and what this does is um, when our uh, mouse, uh, when a key in our keyboard is pressed, it um, connects the function reloads, and then this uh, argument here will call whatever key we press reloads. Um, for example, I'll put this. Print, you just pressed the key. And now when I um, press a key, it will say you just press the H key, you just press the nothing key because that was spacebar. Um, key, key, key. Um, so yeah, that's pretty handy. Um, also when I press control it shows up as two. Um, so yeah, that's quite uh, fun to mess around with. But that is not part of the tutorial so I shall remove it. And now what I'm going to do is uh, make our ammo go up and, and what you can also do for the reload key is um, do the same thing um, but hold down R so that you can stop reloading when you release R so that you can maybe reload uh, one bullet at a time or something uh, which would add a lot of tact to your game but um, I'm going to keep it simple since I already did a um, hold down feature over there and uh, yeah so I'm going to tag um, our RS which is our right shoulder as player dot character dot torso right shoulder need square brackets because it has a um, space um, and then for i equals one for do which is just a name for my loop it doesn't matter you can call your loop whatever you want wait rs dot co equals rs dot co times c frame dot angles zero point two no zero 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 point two and then I'm going to reverse that at the end here. Oh I'm going to put enables equals false first and equals equals false. Um I should also put uh, and ammo is less than thirty so that we won't reload in full ammo. Uh, there we go. I'm actually going to put max ammo here. Okay, just got a little lag there. Really weird. My PC's been acting up today. Max ammo equals 30 or 30. And then repeat until ammo is equal to max ammo and then I'm going to put this and change the last uh, number to 0 and this number to 0 0.2 and then wait 
0 0.1 here and weight 0 0.1 here and reverse that so it's uh, moving our uh, gun a little bit twitching it and what I'm going to do is insert a part here so I should call it shell equals instance dot new part workspace shell dot top surface I bet this uh, <laughs> recording is going to be corrupted too um, hopefully not but I have it's got a few corrupted recordings this run shell dot reflectance equals 0 0.6 shell dot size equals vector 3 dot new 1 1 1 shell dot what else do I need to do here no the shape's fine so um, shell mesh equals instance dot new block mesh and put it to shell shell mesh dot scale equals vector 3 dot new 0 0.2 0 0.3 0.45 or uh, 0. Point. Yeah, it should be fine. Doesn't make a difference to be honest. And the game dot base add item shell 0. 0.65 or uh, 0. 0.8. It could cause problems with physics with like tripping us up and stuff, so I'll probably change it to can collide equals false in a second, but uh, hey. And to see frame it, shell dot c frame equals gun dot handle dot c frame times c frame dot new zero minus zero point five zero point three minus. And did I add that to debris? Yes, I did. Um, well, let's test this. Oh, that is huge. I have no idea what I did wrong there. Okay, this is a problem. It's going to keep going infinitely because we didn't make it increase our ammo. <laughs> That's quite funny, actually. But at least it works uh, fairly well, so... That's actually quite good for our first attempt. Um, so I want to make that smaller. 2, 5, uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and... Uh, 1, 2, 5. I'll make that half the size. 1, 2, 5. And I'll make it can collide equals false. Shell dot can collide equals false. And ammo equals ammo plus 1. There we go. And uh, the animation's kind of bugging me, so I'm going to uh, cut this, put it in starter pack again, and then reset. Yes. Um, okay, so I'm going to delete all these tools here. And why are... Did Roblox make some backpacks? Because it isn't showing up when I reset. Whoa, okay, I'm pretty sure I made that smaller, but I guess not. And also, our arm isn't going down, so that's another wee problem there, so I should probably deal with that in a second. Uh, okay, what am I. Okay, I don't know how I made that 125. That's a bit of a problem. It should be 0 0.125. There we go. And our arm keeps going up. Why is it going up? Uh, zero point two. Oh yeah, because I made it go up even more, not down. So this should be all problem solved. God damn it! Urgh, why isn't it showing up? That's quite annoying. And now it's over there? Roblox, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't fix what isn't broke, please. Oh, that is perfect. That is even better than the last time. And our ammo goes uh, back up, I believe. And also we should put enabled back to true at the end. 
Um, so yeah, I'll put a wait here, and then enabled equals true, so that we can continue firing our gun and doing other stuffs. And it will keep going up until our ammo is full. Uh, just to verify that, I'm going to shoot like one bullet and then reload. And yeah, that's pretty amazing actually. <laughs> and it will keep reloading until it is full, and then we can continue firing. So, um, hopefully this recording isn't corrupted, or I am going to cry a little inside. Um, but thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please drop me a like and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one or other videos. And uh, drop me a comment on how your uh, scripting experience went. <laughs> and good luck in your gun making endeavours. Uh, goodbye players.